Hey, this is Darlene Quibido. I'm just coming to show you real quick. I finished the brownies. They are done. I'm using our little microwave grips just so I can kind of show you that those are done. And we have new little products. These are boat presses. So we have the square one to put the brownie pan, the round one for muffins, and this one for our bar pan, the rectangular one, and we have an interchangeable Oops, hold it the right way. Little handle for them. And all you're going to do is press down in the middle. And we're making a boat so that we have room for a filling. And this looks like it's a little hot still, the brownies. That one came up a little bit. That went a little too far deep. There we go. The first one was a little too deep, so. And the chocolate is uh, because I add extra chocolate chips kind of oozing a little bit but I'm only gonna do half of these because I'm gonna fill these with some yummy mousse we're going to make and I'm gonna set that to the side real quick wipe my hand and I will show you again this first one I went too deep but you can see how it made little boats for us to fill so one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use our new Deluxe cooking blender. I'm gonna go ahead and put my base on. And it goes straight up and down. Oops, I'm sitting on my cord here. Let me move that out the way. And for this, we're going to make some mousse. So I'm just going to use the two cups of heavy whipping cream. And we'll actually have extra mousse probably left over because I'm not doing them all. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of chocolate pudding. Now I have a daughter that can't have dairy so she can't have this and that's why I'm not doing the rest. But the, um, she can have those brownies because they are gluten free and dairy free. So I'm gonna go ahead and put our lid on and the one great thing about this blender is it will not operate unless you have the lid on and locked in place. So it tells you lid on here. So it means, and now it did this little song, so it's ready. So we are just going to switch this over. Oh, actually, I'll take that back. I don't have to switch it over because we're just gonna do pulse for about 15 seconds. Oh, maybe I do need to, hold on. Look at that. Oh no, but it's looking good. Okay, we're going to use our little tamper and we're going to go down the sides just a little bit. And we're going to do this a little bit more. Whoops! Trying to get the lid that back on. Okay, let's pulse again. And hold on, we are not. This is my first time making this, so. Don't ever do this with a live video. <laughs> so let me get that back in the middle. Let me move this off to the side. Now, let's pulse a little bit more. And let's stir that just a little bit more. But I think what I'm going to do is add a tiny bit more of our pudding mix to it to make it just a little bit thicker. And let me push that in a little bit. And this is actually going to come out just right. I'm going to pulse a couple of more seconds. And I'm going to get um, one of our little skinny scrapers. So I'm gonna kind of stir that in a little bit. And and I forgot to tell y'all, for those that didn't see the first video, our brownies are enriched with kale and fiber. One of our new products, Enrichables. So we have kale and fiber and we have pea protein. So I have added some of the kale and fiber. I'm gonna slide this out of the way a little bit so y'all can see one of our other products. This is our little decorator bag. And I'm going to
going to slide the coupling down in here. And we're gonna do it just to where it's like halfway up the threads. Then on the outside, we're going to put our tip on there and I'm gonna use the little star tip. And then we lock it in place with the ring. And I'm going to fold this over. I'm going to get some of our mousse in here. Put it on the sides a little bit. Fill this bag up. to grab real quick one of our little one cup prep bowls because now I just want to squeeze and make sure all the air is out okay and I'm just gonna twist it and it is coming out there we go I'm just gonna hold that like that there we go and now I'm going to fill the insides of our little boats here that we made with our chocolate mousse. And I am not the prettiest decorator. I need one of my daughters here for that, but she's in school, so I was trying to make a little quick fun dessert before they got home. So I'm gonna hold this up a little bit and now I'll have extra mousse left over because we didn't do them all. But now you can see that I have filled them in and I'm going to get one of our um, little mini spatulas. Let's see if I can do this. I probably should have taken it out before filling it, but I'm gonna go around the edges and they're still a little warm because I didn't let them cool all the way. But now I'm gonna try to lift this one up. Yes, and the mousse is starting to melt because I did not let them cool completely before you put mousse in. So anyway, I want to eat this one here that I've messed up because it's um, coming out wrong and the mousse is melting. But once, if more melts, then I will refill with more mousse because I have more mousse. So anyway, that's what you've got. You've got um, brownies filled with chocolate mousse. How cool is that? So anyway, I will talk to y'all later. This Again, this was Darlene Quibido, your Pampered Chef Consultant. So just let me know if you have any questions about our enrichables, our deluxe cooking blender, which is awesome. Um, our brownie pan or any of the tools I used here. Thanks. Bye.